Well, howdy everybody, and uh, welcome to the Sunday Report with Country Cuss. And uh, I'm outdoors this morning, and at the end of this video, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna demonstrate this ball thing with these wires on it, and it's got a stick. I'm gonna show y'all what it does. If you live down here in the south, I don't have to tell you, you already know, because you already got one or two. They actually make some with two or three heads on them now. But it's a handy dandy tool that everybody that lives in, especially South Georgia, owns. I guarantee you, if you don't own one, you need to get you one, because they're just an amazing tool, and it'll pay for itself a hundred times over. It'll pay for itself the first year you buy it. I guarantee you. All right, but anyway, with further ado here, folks, we'll have a little music, and then at the end of the video, we'll do a demonstration of the ball with the wire on it. Hello, everyone, and welcome back inside there. Uh, we come in the barnyard, and uh, been outside using the tool. Y'all stay tuned at the end of the video. I'm revealing what the tool does. I'm playing lap steel guitar today. Nothing else but the lap steel. And I open E tuning. I put the tuning right up there. Y'all know I'm partial to open E. And I do like C6. It sounds good. Hadn't tried y'all's A7 yet. And anyway, Speedy, I hope you like the tool. And I enjoyed your little video. Y'all check out Speedy posted a video yesterday evening. For us to listen to, I'm uh, I'm not doing a lot better. I'm not hurting no more, but I'm still short of breath for some reason. Anyway, day's Sunday for the Sunday report, and uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna uh, go ahead and play a little bit of gospel style, southern gospel, a little bit of Amazing Grace, and then whenever I'm gonna blues it up with Uncloudy Day, which is played in the key of E. I mean, you can do it in whatever you want. Got both my knobs wide open. I wish I didn't have knobs on it. This is my teaching guitar. Anyway, uh, thank y'all for stopping by. I hope everybody's having a blessed day today. We've uh, had to take my mother back to the hospital, but she's home now doing a lot better. She was having a problem with her... Uh, foot with no circulation and she didn't even really know it, she just knew the foot was hurting. <laughs>
being said, I hope each and every one of y'all has a blessed day out there. And thank you for stopping by the Country Cush Report here on Sunday. It's a beautiful day. We had a gully wash of rain last night and uh, knocked a lot of stuff off the trees that you'll see coming up in the next part of the video. I'm uh, back in the barn here, but I've been outside to do a demonstration. Hope y'all enjoy it, and I hope y'all have a good week out there, and I hope everybody gets to feeling better. Anyway, I want to thank you for stopping by. Remember, Country Cuss comes on Wednesday and on Sunday, and if you're not a subscriber, go down there and hit the little red box right down there in that corner. Guaranteed more fun to come your way. Have a great day, folks. All right, folks, I uh, went and got a five-gallon bucket. I got you out here, and there's my handy-dandy tool. This is the end of the video. See, it spins around. It's on a stick. I'm way up in here. I got you down here, but I want y'all to watch what we're doing here. We're going to roll this thing around. And the ground's a bit wet this morning because we had a good little rain last night. But we rolling this ball right here on this ground and we're going to come up with something just rolling around on the ground alright I want y'all to look real close at what we got well, that right there folks is pecans that's what this tool does now then to get these pecans out of this tool I'm going to bring in Right here, and this is, the trees hadn't even been shook. This is just some falling over time, but I can spread these wires and just listen. And I mean, you can roll this thing down. If the trees have been shook yet, and we usually shake them out with a pecan shaking tractor, then there's so many out here, you can't hardly walk from them. These trees of ours produce lots of pecans, and this is a, one of our better trees, but that right there, folks, is what the tool does, and then whenever I get these pecans picked up, I got a, a, a wire mesh machine I made. I go out there and I pour them out of this bucket onto it and get all the husk and trash and leaves that I might have picked up out, and I run them down a little old... Uh, like a conveyor belt and sort them out and then we take them to market and sell them but anyway that's that right there is what it is I, is a pecan picker upper it's got wire and as you see i'll show you here's a nut you can take the nut when you roll it on the ground it falls in the ball like that and it stays until you spread the wire open to let the nut back out and this thing they even make a tool you can put on your bucket this v-shape i've seen those you just push that over and it opens the wire up for you it's kind of like a slinky wire when you bend it it springs right back and i got pecans falling on my head right now they slowly falling and Squirrels and birds get up there and knock them down, but we got these shaking machines that come around and uh, shake the tree and this whole ground will be covered in nuts. So many you, you just wouldn't believe it. Let me swing you around here. I'll just show you some of the nuts that's on the ground today. I mean, this is just after a little bit of rain last night. The ground's just covered in them. They everywhere. Pecans. That's one of the benefits of living down south, folks. All right, well, I hope each and every one of y'all has a great, great uh, week out there, and thank you for stopping by the Country Cush Show today. And I'm going to have to go up here and uh, feed some of my mother's cats and get them taken care of. But y'all take care, and we'll see you later. Country Cush.